Today we're going to be talking about the quad skis. This is a quad ski XL. I'm sure the regular quad ski is going to be a little different, but very similar. We're going to show you how to put it into the service position. And this is the position that you're going to need to have it in in order to do pretty much anything to the engine. Um, except for the oil change, uh, we, you have to, when it comes from the factory, you have to put it in this position. But I'm going to show you another video we'll link to to show you how to make it 90% faster to do the oil change. So first thing we're going to do is remove the seat. Uh, this back seat portion comes off first. Um, you can just open the rear hatch by uh, pressing this button here and then lifting it. And then there will be a handle, a little cape, uh, tie there that you pull up right here. And this releases it. Um, then it slides through this hook and these hooks on the front under here and under the front seat. So you'll just like lift it and slide it back. Then this one here has a little pull at the top. You can just open up and pull that off. As far as the front cowl, which is where the oil and the coolant um, reservoirs are, they are all these 90 degree twist locks. Just be careful that you don't lose these. Um, so you just come up to it here and then twist 90 degrees and it should unlock. And then be careful, it should stay captured. There's a washer in the back, but sometimes they disappear. So make sure you try to keep track of those. Uh, next thing you're gonna need to do is take off this middle section. So you've got T30 bolts all the way around it on the other side as well. You're also gonna to need to take these two off so that this can flex. And this is very difficult to get back in. You can see the scratches and marks. It is very difficult to do by yourself. And this front piece is almost impossible to remove. So you just have to flex this and get this out of the way. So we're gonna go ahead and show you how to pull that out. Uh, these are the bolts, they're T30s on mine. Uh, they have these little plastic washers that help prevent marring the paint surface. Don't torque them down too much, like a good seven to 10 Newton meters really should be good. If you do it too much, they will crack the body work. And they're really pretty machines, so I'm gonna try to keep that fresh looking. Let's go ahead and show you to pull this off. And it comes off much easier if it goes on. So you can see that flexes quite a bit. Okay. Now, um, the this is service position one. You have access to the gas tank. Again, this build you can pretty much access without. Um, pulling all this out a, a little bit you can feed a hose down in there but anyway if you want to do spark plugs those are located there we'll do another video on that next step is to then remove this back port panel for that uh, t30s to remove the battery then disconnect the battery yours will look a little different we have um, some more electrical problems that the quad skis come with that we're going to show you how to resolve later but go ahead and pull uh, these out and then the battery and then there are two bolts underneath it we'll remove those then we're going to come over here and unplug everything so this will come unplugged this will come unplugged this will also come unplugged mm, someone broke this one in the past and has a zip tie on it so I'll pull that off and unplug that Okay, these, this is the BMW control module. You're gonna have to unplug it. And if it's been outside in the salt environment, it may be difficult to do. So you're gonna have to pull, as you can see these here, you just pull these. You can see it starting, you gotta pull both sides of it. Otherwise it'll bind up, it could break. So pull that. Okay, great, that'll go. Same on the other side. And then you'll unplug this and this if it's 
connect it up here, plug that. Then you're gonna need to squeeze on either side of these fuse panels and remove all those fuses because this cannot fit through there. You have to unscrew these screws to get this out. And if you don't take these out, you'll drop them and you'll never find them. It's, and these are not, you can't buy these, you know, you gotta order them. So stupid. So you're gonna take this cover off. Same thing over here. Take this cover off. Again, be very careful of where everything is. I'm gonna show you this fuse panel. Now there are more fuses on this panel normally. I've modified the electrics on this because again, we'll show you why later, but um, remove these, remove those, except for the little fuses, but any relay or big relay like this, pull those out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the battery loose. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and take these bolts, you know, these bolts off. All of these will need to come out. Um, let's see what else we got. We have bolts here, here, back there. You can see this one's extremely difficult to get to right here and right here. Be careful when you're pulling this off. It's gonna to wanna to catch on the exhaust. You're gonna to need to like slide it a little bit. Um, another thing, that'll be both sides. Another thing you wanna know is like, this plug right here is uh, for the tail lights. That has to come down. You have some like zip ties um, holders for the wires on that side over there. You can see like right there that need to be cut. So the harness to come loose from the harness. If you try to unplug this, the problem is salt water gets in there and corrodes it and I've lost terminals. And then you gotta cut one of the wires, those three wires and do another connection, it's very difficult. Uh, so I just remove the tail lights, but be very careful. These are extremely, extremely brittle. So you have to like slowly lift up while pushing on it on the other side. So you'll do show you what I'm talking about. Boom. All right, great. So this is gonna take probably two people to get off. Uh, it's very difficult because of you know how flimsy, but at the same time, how big it is and then you've got this panel here which by the way raw fiberglass so just be prepared to be itchy for the next week um, wash yourself really well after working on the quad ski because you're going to be really really itchy now this is not normal this is not stock we'll talk about that in another video and neither is this it's a little bit beefier than what's normally in the quad but Basically, what you're going to have to do is unplug these two plugs, uh, the right side one first, and then the left side because this blocks this plug. You do it by pulling carefully. Now, be careful because this is very fragile after time and heat, and so it starts to break. Those two are going to come off again. Pull your fuses and relays that are big, otherwise they'll fall out. The small ones can stay, and then take the screws out. Um, you're going to need a very short Phillips head for that. Then, again, these plugs are going to disconnect right here in these relays. Same over here. Uh, then underneath this thing is um, the control board from Gibbs. That plug is going to have to become disconnected. You can see I've already unplugged it there. The plug for the one underneath here for the Gibbs quad ski. Now you are going to have to lift up on this lever. It folds down to slide these little slides into place. So in order to engage it, it needs to be all the way up and these need to be out. And the reason I make that specification is that on mine, when the first time I took it out, or maybe even before I took it out from the last guy, it broke. You see right there, there should be an eye that goes around. This red part should go around that black nub. And so when you pull it and push it, it comes out and stops working. So in that case, in order to get it off of the, the plug, um, this faces that way. And oh, look at that, it's made by Saab. That's pretty cool. Um, and so what you you're gonna have to do is you have to come to this right side of the vehicle and stick a screwdriver in the bottom and push it a little bit and then the top push it a little bit in the bottom and wiggle it up a little at a time because the, you know if you do one too far it, it's gonna bind they both need to go together so it's a little frustrating um, and again that's up underneath 
inside there is that computer right there. And then also there's another little plug. You can um you can barely see the orange uh cap right there. That's for the bilge fan. There, that unplugged one right here. Is right there is the bilge fan. It's gotta get plugged back in. Now you see that little white bracket there? That white bracket has an eight mil. And then there's another eight mil right here on that white bracket. Again, I've already taken them loose, just right here. And this allows that bilge fan to drop. And this way, when you when you try to push this back in and down, the bilge fan can, you know, this is the bilge fan tunnel tube there. It can come out of the way. So we're gonna go ahead and push both these back and down. And again, that bilge fan is right behind there. So that will cause a tight space that those relays will not want to come out of. So we'll go ahead and take these off and then, boom. Yeah, here we are. This is how you get access to the bottom. Now, this is what you're gonna to need to do for oil changes. Now that you have this off, you can weasel your hand down in here or around here and try to get the oil filter off which is down there where those tubes are again that those tubes are not stuck we'll talk about that later um but yeah this is the how to get it into a service position i'm not going to take it all the way off because i don't need to do it right now but uh differentials back there um this the reverse motor is right back here underneath this um yeah, and starter motor is right here. You're gonna need to get to that. This relay is not factory. Um, none of this stuff is factory here, but we'll get into all of that very soon and why these have been changed from factory.